Hi, welcome everyone. In this video, we will predict the concrete compressor strength for some new data using the machine learning training data that we developed in part one of this project. Let's import um, some necessary libraries such as NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, etc. So using this uh, NumPy load function, let's import uh, the npg file that we have saved in our previous video tutorial that is concrete underscore strength underscore ml data dot npg. We know what uh, values we have stored in the npg file, but when we give this file to some unknown user, they don't know what's inside this uh, model data. So let's print all the data that is available in this model data. Model data is basically an object that contains uh, all the data that is available in this .npg file. It can be seen that there are uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, variables stored in, in this. So the first one is weight norm, bias norm, feature mean, features STD, standard deviation and prediction guidelines. Let's see the guidelines about using this train data. I have just printed this uh, model data prediction guidelines. So here it has given some uh, instructions on uh, data normalization and uh, some description about the input values such as cement quantity, blast furnace slag, fly ash, etc, etc, age and uh, the target variable. Uh, that you can predict using this uh, machine learning model. Let's take some uh, random input values. So I have considered uh, 500 kg per meter cube of uh, cement quantity, 100 kg per meter cube of uh, BF blast furnace slag quantity and uh, 50 kg per meter cube for fly ash, 120 kg per meter cube of water and 20 kg per meter cube of super plasticizer, 1200 kg per meter cube of coarse aggregate and uh, 800 kg per meter cube of fine aggregate and uh, I'm expecting a 28 day concrete strength value. So using the mean and the standard deviation values, let's normalize this uh, input features. So I have normalized these input features and stored in this X norm variable. I did a prediction using the weights and uh, biases. These are basically derived from the normalized uh, training data. So the new predicted value is Y predict and the value it got is 77.43. MPA approximately 77.5 MPA that's it this is how we use the machine learning model training data we cannot say that uh, this is the best prediction but this is the best uh, we can get using a simple linear regression model in our uh, later projects we will upgrade our uh, machine learning algorithm for more uh, accurate predictions if you have any questions or suggestions we recommend you to please write them in the comment section below the video we greatly appreciate your feedback and we will do our best to respond to each and every comment. If you like our content, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Happy learning. Thank you.